Hey, what's up? This is Scott Tolinsky, and today we're going to continue to cover shipping in PrestaShop. Now, this time we're going to talk about UPS shipping, and I'm going to show you how you can connect your My UPS account to your PrestaShop store, and we're going to get that all loaded so that way you can get proper shipping rates directly from UPS's API. So check it out. We're going to get going now. So now we want to add UPS shipping. Now for UPS shipping, you're going to need a UPS account and that's easy to get and should just take you a couple of minutes. And luckily the module that PrestaShop has makes it nice and easy to find everything you need and even gives you the steps to walk through. So what we're going to do is go to modules because you're going to have to enable this module. Now to save time, I've already gone ahead and enabled it and the module is connect to UPS. Uh, if you haven't installed it yet, there's going to be a green install button. Go ahead and click that to install it. After you've completed that, you can go ahead and click configure to uh, configure this UPS module. Now it's going to ask you for some things. It wants a UPS login, UPS password, my UPS ID, and an API key. Well, to get everything, uh, there's a link that says go here for your API key, and here's a five-step process. Register, log in, select an API, okay, and request an access key. This access key is what you need as your API key. So follow these steps and get all that information lined up so that we can go ahead and fill that in. Now I'm going to fill in this information for mine, but since it uh, types it all out in plain text here um, and it doesn't obfuscate it at all, I'm gonna scroll down so you can't necessarily see my IDs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna fill that in now and then scroll down. Now, because this is all sensitive information, I'm just going to skip down to the service configuration. I filled in everything above this, uh, but I don't necessarily want my uh, account information or address available publicly, so I'm going to just uh, not show you that. But we have this service configuration here at the bottom, and this is going to ask for your sort of default service configuration. Um, and so we want United States domestic shipping because we're not shipping internationally. And what type of pickup type you'd like. Um, well, if you're taking this to the customer counter, it would be customer counter, but you also have daily pickup, one-time pickup, that sort of thing. And these are things you'd wanna get set up with UPS outside of your store. Okay, I'm just gonna select customer counter because that doesn't require a, a daily pickup or anything. And now packaging type, this is going to be your standard packaging. It's going to be, uh, we could have a small express box, medium express box, that sort of thing. We can just say it's going to be a package. Now calculate mode is really just, if it's all items in one package, split items per package, uh, that's up to you using calculation mode. All items one package will automatically choose the default packaging size, default packaging type, and therefore specific configurations for categories and products will not be used. Or you can leave it as split one item per package. Let's just go ahead and leave it at the split one item uh, because that's the default and let's click submit. After you save this, it's gonna give you a warning saying that it's not properly configured because you haven't entered your delivery service. Now this only becomes available after you've entered this other information, so don't worry about it. Here you can check what UPS delivery services you would actually like to partake in. We can use next day, ground, three day select, Okay, and, and they have all of these different available ones except for US, UPS Saver, which is not available for some reason. Let's go ahead and click Submit. And we're getting the all green connect to UPS is now configured and online. Let's come back to our store. If you recall, we had some stuff in our cart here. And before we were just seeing table rate shipping, if we refresh this, I'm gonna click Continue. Um, we can now see that we have more options other than just table rate. We have UPS ground, which is going to cost $73, three day select, 95, and next day air, which is gonna cost 181. Now, I don't know what exact products I have set up here. Um, looks like I have a bunch of uh, shirts and some stickers. Um, but this UPS is going to base the price off of distance and weight. 
So based off of where you're sending this from and where you're sending this to and how much the total weight of the packages are, these prices are going to UPS. UPS is gonna tell you how much it's actually gonna to cost to ship them and it's gonna come back here so that way you charge your customer the exact right amount for shipping. Now there are some more options under your module. You can set up specific uh, categories to have specific packaging types. Perhaps maybe if you uh, put all women's uh, t-shirts into uh, a different type of box or something like that. Maybe they go in a tube for some reason. You could always put that in here and that way when anybody adds those objects to their cart, um, it's going to know how to charge them appropriately. That way, uh, again, your, your charges are staying appropriate to what is uh, going to be purchased. And you can do the same things with products under product settings here. So we now have UPS shipping rates set up onto our site. And USPS is the exact same way, except for USPS... Uh, their count system takes a little bit longer to get set up, so I, I'm unfortunately probably not gonna be able to do that uh, for a couple weeks until I get approval through their site, but I will make a video on setting up USPS very soon as well. But between table rate shipping and UPS, you should be good to go with a couple of different shipping options to get going on your store. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.